What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm bringing you an LSP for tutorial. Today we're going to be installing a new mod that was made by Hayes Studio called Pulse EMS. Now this is what this does is it turns your LSP for police functionalities into EMS functionality. So we're going to check this out. Uh, this was recommended to me by Jeffrey Gamer and I'm going to be checking this out today. So big shout out to my boy for this. Let's go ahead and click the link in the description below guys. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Pulse EMS made by Hayes Studio. Now, if you look at the screenshots here, you kind of get a gist of what it does. It's, it's got a menu with it. I haven't tested this out yet, so this is the first time I'm putting it in my game, so we're going to be learning this together. Um, so let's go ahead and let's close out of this. And you want to click download the file here, agree and download. It's going to start downloading. I recommend putting this on your desktop. You are going to need your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, and you're also going to need OpenIV. If you do not have OpenIV, listen very carefully. I will link my video in the top right corner of the screen and a long black box will pop up. If you click that box, it will open up my videos underneath this video and it will take you to my video showing you how to install OpenIV, your mods folder, and all your patch days, okay? When you go to that video, make sure you pay attention to the pinned comment. The pinned comment is very important, okay? Now, with that said, we're going to open up our main directory, open up our Pulse EMS WinRAR. And double click on the folder here inside the WinRAR. Double click on GTA 5, the folder inside the WinRAR. And grab the LSPFR and plugins. Pull them into your main directory like this and drop them in, okay? And those are now going to highlight. Now let's go back in our WinRAR and open up the required content. We have to install this, okay? Now in your main directory, okay, you're going to go to Mods, Update, Time64, and DLC Packs, okay? Now... You're going to grab, you're going to uh, double click on the DLC pack folder and you're going to grab the EMS props folder and you're going to pull this into your DLC packs like this and you're going to drop it in, okay? And here we're going to you know, go to our main directory. We're going to go to plugins. We're going to go to LSPFR and we're going to navigate down until we find the Pulse EMS. Let's see if it's got a folder here. Right here, the folder. Click on the folder and click on the config setting here, all right? And let me close these out right here. And right here, I'm just looking through it. So main menu for your for your um for your menu is going to be uh, F5. Okay, so we'll leave that on F5 because I don't think I have anything set to F5. So we'll leave that on F5. Um, display job details, custom callout system, unit number. So right here, guys, you can change your own personal unit number to whatever you want it to be. Uh, this one set by default is EMS7. Um, I'm actually going to keep it that way. It looks good like that. Uh, your dialog key is Y, your in call key is N, and your main menu is F5. So if you didn't make any changes, make sure you click File and click Save. Close out of this. One more thing that I did forget to mention uh, with this is that uh, you need to open up your OpenIV, okay, and then click on Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5. And I can't believe I forgot this part. Uh, what you want to do is in your um, in your OpenIV, make sure that your edit mode is turned on, okay? Or this will not work. Your edit mode has to be on, so it needs to be highlighted in blue just like that. Now, next, you want to go, if you want to be in edit mode at all times, which meaning like once you open up your OpenIV, you'll be in edit mode automatically. Go over here to Tools, go to Options, go to the General tab. And if your default work mode right there says Read Only, just like that, change that from Read Only to Edit, Okay, and then click close. And from here on out, every time you open up your open IV, you will automatically be in edit mode. Now we need to open up that WinRAR again, our Paul CMS WinRAR, and double click on the folder and go to the required content and then DLC pack. Okay. And just leave this part up right here. Now what you want to do is click on that until it highlights like that. Right click and copy. All right, now in our open IV, we're gonna to navigate to mods, update. Update RPF, common, data, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to this DLC list.xml right here, okay? That's the list we're going to be manipulating. Once you see that list, highlight it, right click, and click edit, and then scroll down to the very last item line. Uh, we're going to copy that one again, uh, and highlight the last item line right there that you see just like that from greater than to less than, right click, and copy. Then click on the end of the line again and hit enter one time and hit left control V. Now I know this is going to paste the same line, but we're doing this for a reason. Go back up to your WinRAR and highlight that EMS props 
until it's blinking again. Right click and copy. Then go down into your DLC list and highlight whatever this word is right here. Just the word between the forward slashes just like that and hit left control V. Okay. This will tell the game to load the mod. Okay. Once you've got that, click save. If you go back into it by double clicking it, you will see that that line is now in there. Okay. And we've got it in because without that line, it will not load the mod and it will not work properly. Okay. So close this and then we're going to go inside the game and I'll show you exactly how this mod works. All right. So once we're in the game here, uh, now keep in mind guys, this outfit I'm wearing is not part of the pulse EMS. Uh, this is part of EP serve and rescue. I do have a tool on that. If I remember, I will link it in the top right corner guys, and you can have these uniforms as well. Now let's go ahead and press our F5 key and pull up this menu. And we're going to have a look at it. Now keep in mind, this is the first time I'm seeing this mod. I have no idea how it works. I've not tested it. We're just going to learn it together. So quick GPS here. Let's see what this does. So quick GPS is Sandy. So it's going to set your GPS to the Sandy uh, station here, obviously. And the next one will be in pillbox. So if you pull up your map, uh, that will set your GPS to your pillbox uh, medical center. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and pull that back up. And of course, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can click none to remove it. Personal radio. Let's see what this does. So I'm assuming uh, now you can't change the job type. Uh, you can change your status from from uh, status to additional units. And we're going to go ahead and request an ambulance and see what it does. Okay, so that's requesting an additional ambulance to the scene. And you guys can see it it, it lights up in green. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and return that ambulance. So we know what that does. I thought maybe it brought the ambulance to us, but it's okay. Equipment. Uh, glove. So glove. We got uh, toggle extras here. Uh, grab med bag. Okay, so we got to be... Let's go ahead and spawn an ambulance real quick. Um, and if you don't have Simple Trainer, guys, I'll link a video in the top right corner showing you how to install Simple Trainer as well. Uh, let's go ahead and request an ambulance, although I haven't replaced mine. And let's pull this over the side and see what this does. Let me see if you got to be close to the back of the, med, the, the ambulance to spawn a med bag. So let's kind of see how this works. And pull that menu back up. Go to equipment and grab med bag. All right, let's see. Okay, now that is pretty dope. That is pretty dope. Now, how do we return it? Can we return it by hitting it again and putting it back in? You can. Okay, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, grab stretcher. Okay, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, need a little work on the stretcher, obviously, but... Nonetheless, a great idea for the mod, man. The guy that made this is, uh, had had the right idea for sure. So we're going to put the stretcher back. And we're going to get a call going here. And here's your patient menu right here. Assessment, uh, treatments. Uh, you can apply tourniquet, a splint, a CPAP, c collar, chest seal. So this is pretty cool, man, how this is all. Uh, I mean, it's just really awesome how he made this. Like, it looks so cool. Um this is your medications you can apply right here. Um, it goes all the way down to oxygen. Um, naloxone, uh, that's a reverse uh, for overdose right there. So let's go all the way back to the top. This is your treatments, assessment. Let's go back and go to settings um, and see what this does. So this is your key bind configuration. Uh, you can change it in here if you want right there. Uh, I personally wouldn't mess with none of that. I would just leave it alone. Um, now let's get a call out going. Let's see personal radio. And now we're going to click on accepting calls. Okay. And it says right there, Leo justice EMS. Right, guys, so let's go ahead and request a call real quick. A medical emergency. So possible diabetic emergency grande. So let's go ahead and take that. Moving right. Make sure this radio is off. So got a call to a, um, possible diabetic emergency. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what's what, uh, what this is all about. Alright, let's head over to Grande Sonora Desert, guys. Once we get there, I'll bring y'all back in the video. Alright, guys. So looks like this is going to be uh, maybe the person that called right here. We're going to go ahead and get with this guy and see what's going on. Alright, so press Y to start talking. 
Hey there, my name is Leon. I'm an EMT. Can you tell me what's going on and your name? My name is Dom Powers. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think uh, it's something to do with my sugar. Okay, do you know what type of diabetes you have? Um, I have diabetes, but I'm unsure what type I have. Okay, do you mind? Uh, I take some quick vitals. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so use the PMS uh, menu to start your transport. So we want to go to um, patient and want to get the patient's name, which is Dom Powers, okay? And then general impressions, uh, stable looking patient, uh, check the AVPU. All right, so, and then check the ABCs, which is airway, uh, breathing and circulation. All right, so he's got regular breathing, so he's good on that. So what we're gonna do is it says start transport. So we're gonna get the stretcher, and we're gonna we're gonna try this, okay? So let's go to the back of the ambulance. Now keep in mind you gotta be at the back of the ambulance to get your stretcher out. Hit F5, go to equipment, and grab the stretcher. This is pretty cool so far, man. I'm really digging this so far. All right, now do we have a stretcher menu where we can actually you know put the stretcher down or no? So we're going to take this over by him. So if you go to equipment and go to type and go over to uh, med bag or and go to stretcher, you can you can uh, place the stretcher here and then we're going to load the patient. Okay, you got to lower it. So lower the make sure the stretcher is lowered first. Like I said, guys, I'm learning this with you. Load patient. All right, he's on there. Pick up stretcher. And there should be a sweet spot here that you got to be in. To grab this stretcher it might be on the other end so raise the stretcher uh, pick up stretcher there we go we got it we're gonna take it back over to them this is actually really cool man this is really cool and we are going to um, return the stretcher inside the ambulance with the patient on it and put him in there and then what you want to do now is you want to go to your menu go to your GPS and you want to route the uh, Sandy PD, all right, or the Sandy ER. And we're gonna get back in the ambulance, and we're gonna go code three, and we're gonna take him over to the hospital. This is actually really cool, man. I am digging this plug in. All right, so it still got some stuff that needs to be worked out, but you guys kind of see how it goes. Um, that is pretty much it, I think. I don't think there's anything else I need to go over with you guys. Um, and anytime you want to call, guys, go in here and just click accepting calls. You can request a call. Roger that. You can say you're on scene. Uh, patient contact. Um, there's your um, route to hospital. You can do all that. What does that bottom one say? I can't see it because of the stuff there. Okay, so end call. So Roger now you can that. end the call. And that's pretty much it, guys. Really cool plug-in. Um, I think it could probably use a lot, you know, some work on it, of course. Um, but with, with what I've seen, it looks it looks pretty cool. I think there needs to be more interaction as far as like the patient going to the hospital. I think we should be able to put the patient in the hospital, and maybe we can. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, but with that said, everyone, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, everyone, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.